the Jedi Order, Rebels tie-ins, and an ominously familiar Sith. The first trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi is here. Did you catch these little details? If you know why Obi-Wan is on Tatooine, you might have expected this detail, but it is nonetheless cool to see. In the teaser, we get a glimpse of Obi-Wan observing Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru from some high ground, and sure enough, the Jedi's binoculars settle on what appears to be a young Luke Skywalker pretending to pod race. As Star Wars fans know very well, Obi-Wan's task is to protect him at all costs, and this appearance of Luke certainly gives us a lot of information as to how many years have passed since the events of Revenge of the Sith. Based on what we can see, Luke seems to be about 10 years old. This means that the events of Obi-Wan Kenobi will likely be picking up not too long after Revenge of the Sith. It'll be interesting to see how Obi-Wan manages his duty of protecting Luke while remaining out of sight. Either way, Obi-Wan Kenobi promises to bring greater insight into the young Luke's life on Tatooine, even if Luke himself only features briefly. In the new teaser trailer, perhaps one of the first things that strikes fans of Star Wars is the ominous and immediately recognizable soundtrack. This is, of course, the John Williams masterpiece from Star Wars The Phantom Menace called Duel of the Fates. Duel of the Fates was previously used during the epic confrontation between Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Darth Maul in the first movie of the prequel trilogy. Its usage in the Obi-Wan trailer pays tribute to this earlier struggle, but at this point, it seems that the point is to more squarely focus on the past and future of Obi-Wan as he struggles to find his fate in a galaxy that seeks his death. It seems like the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is gunning for more than your everyday tie-ins to the films, because the new trailer also shows off several of the infamous Inquisitors. The Inquisitors, for those who missed out on the TV series Star Wars Rebels, are a group of Force sensitives enlisted by the Empire to hunt down the remaining Jedi. Personally trained by Darth Vader and formerly Jedi themselves, the Inquisitors play a large part in further eradicating the Jedi in the years following Order 66. Throughout the trailer, we are shown three different Inquisitors, two of which have appeared in previous Star Wars stories. The first of these is the Grand Inquisitor, an ex-Jedi Powan with white skin and distinctive face markings. He plays an important role as a primary villain throughout much of Rebels, as well as in several comics. The other known Inquisitor is the Fifth Brother, who was also a common sight in Rebels as a minor villain. The only Inquisitor we don't know much about is Reva, played by Moses Ingram, who we see getting involved in a number of tense confrontations throughout the trailer. Based on this, it's clear that the Inquisitors are set to play a major role as antagonists throughout the series, potentially crossing sabers with Obi-Wan. Though, given that Obi-Wan manages to make it to A New Hope alive, that may not go half as well as they think. The universe of Star Wars is filled with strange and amazing animals, and some humanoids that straddle the line between person and animal. Look at it, you, Chewie. <laughs> Luke! Luke's crazy! Obi-Wan himself is no stranger to hanging out with a menagerie of space beasts, having ridden everything from Varactyls to Iowa over the years. In the Obi-Wan trailer, the character is shown riding something that appears to be a camel. This might strike the casual Star Wars fan off guard. After all, there's no way a Star Wars show would put a camel on Tatooine. No camels! Han Solo is right, it isn't a camel. It's actually a four-legged herbivore known as an Eopi. Originally from Tatooine, their adaptations to the harsh environment make them very useful for carrying luggage or people across the desert. You know, just like the camels in our world. The nostalgia is strong with this one. At one point during the new Obi-Wan trailer, fans are greeted by the return appearance of actor Joel Edgerton's Uncle Owen character, who many Star Wars fans will remember served as Anakin Skywalker's stepbrother in Episode II Attack of the Clones, and Luke Skywalker's guardian on Tatooine at the end of Revenge of the Sith. Not surprisingly, fans are psyched. In the Obi-Wan trailer, the show's big new bad, Reva the Inquisitor, comes face to face with Edgerton's Owen after arriving on Tatooine with her evil Empire cronies. Actor Bonnie Peace, who played Uncle Owen's girlfriend in Episodes 2 and 3, is also set to appear as her Aunt Beru character. As fans know, the two characters are fated to be tragically killed off in A New Hope by Imperial Stormtroopers, but this will mark the first time we truly see what their life while raising the future Jedi hero was like. While the Obi-Wan Kenobi teaser trailer was packed to the brim with references and epic glimpses of things to come, there's one little moment that appears so briefly that only die-hard fans would notice it on the first watch. At one point, an unknown hand touches what appears to be a symbol carved into a wall, which appears to be the official Jedi Order crest, a lightsaber with elaborate wings on either side. It's crudely carved, but it's an important symbol for the Jedi Order, serving as an official insignia for them for thousands of years before their eventual fall. It being carved into the wall like graffiti is an indicator perhaps that hope for the return of the Jedi remains strong. That said, because this moment is so brief, there is no definitive evidence that this is the crest of the Jedi Order, and it could be something else entirely. While Darth Vader doesn't physically appear in the Obi-Wan Kenobi limited series teaser trailer, his presence looms large, and fans who listen carefully can hear Vader's iconic breathing at the very end of the teaser trailer. Aiden Christensen, who played Anakin Skywalker in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, was confirmed to co-star as Darth Vader in the upcoming series back in 2020. Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy promised Christensen's return to Star Wars would result in the rematch of the century between Vader and Kenobi. 
Given the heavy presence within the trailer of the Empire's Inquisitors, it's probably safe to say Vader will oversee their efforts to find Kenobi. In October 2021, The Hollywood Reporter also reported that the now 40-year-old actor will also reprise his role as Darth Vader in the upcoming series Ahsoka alongside Rosario Dawson. Ahsoka Tano and Anakin Skywalker grew close as Jedi Padawan and Master through Star Wars The Clone Wars, making the upcoming series a second long-awaited reunion between fan favorites. As for what role Vader plays in the future of Obi-Wan Kenobi, that still remains to be seen. Well, sort of. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.